Hello, and today we are looking at a prize space invasion machine by BWB, made in 1990. Um, it's basically a variant of Space Invaders where it awards you cash prizes based on your performance. Um, it uses a, a black and white monitor, just like the original one, with some colour overlays. And you've got just your simple left, right and fire controls. Uh, you can start a, a cash prize game, or continue a cash prize game by putting 50p credits in. Or you can just play for fun, 30p a go. So I've had this for years and I've not actually powered it up for quite a long time, so um, let's see what it does. Now I've just had to fit a replacement MPU4 board, as I've no idea what I did with the original one. Looks like I borrowed it for something else. Uh, they are interchangeable, but I don't know if this one works or not, so let's, uh, let's just get the power remote and power it up and see what happens. Oh, it's all lit up. And the screen's coming in. Needs a bit of a clean. <laughs> okay, that's uh, it's looking promising. Let's get some cash and see if it'll do anything. I've got some coins in here. Put a 50p in. Nope. No, doesn't take cash. Oh, it says display frozen there. That sounds like it might have an error. Uh, okay, this isn't quite working yet. Let's uh, carry on and see what we can get to do. So, looking closely at the screen, you can see it's jumping slightly. Now, this only happens when it's been on for a couple of minutes and then it goes away after it's been on for a few minutes more. That's kind of indicating it's temperature related, and it's probably dry joints or even capacitor failure. So, it shouldn't be too hard to fix that. I just need to investigate. Which, which of the two it is. Okay, so I opened up a spare MPU4 board and saw this written on the cover on the inside, blowing fuse, and the cross written on the regulator board. So I'm guessing there's probably a short on this. Uh, I don't want to actually try in a real machine and waste blowing fuses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bench power supply here to basically current limit it and power it up to see if it is actually shorted or not. So I think if I get this right, this is a... Uh, ground here ah, so hard to do things one handed okay right so that's the ground and that will be the 12 volt incoming Right, it takes twice as long to do when you try to do it. Now I've got my multimeter so I can see what voltage it's putting out on the 5 volt output, which is there. So if we power this up. Yeah, that does not pick up on there. <laughs> now it's actually saying 5 volts and 0 0.01 amp. So uh, let's crank it up a touch. That's annoying that you can't see it. Okay, we've got it. There you go. Now we've got it set to 12 volts and it's drawing 20 milliamps. So it's probably not shorted. Let's just get a meter on that. Can't do this with the camera in my hand, but I'm just going to put the multimeter across the output on the ground and see if it's actually putting 5 volts out. Well, that was actually working absolutely fine. So I'm going to remove this writing and just update that it's actually been tested. And we'll try in the real machine. I just wanted to show you this uh, MP4 board that was bought as untested on eBay. Uh, as we all know, untested on eBay means completely broken to hell. Um, so, let's start over here. As we can see, some chips has been removed. Uh, this chip's been half removed and left in place. Uh, you won't be able to see this very well on this camera, but like, there's some major corrosion. I mean, this entire area is just disintegrated. Like, the components have just vaporized. They're totally gone. Lots of corrosion up this way, and then if we flip the board over, we can see someone was removing stuff with a blowtorch. Look at that, nice. And there, uh, all blowtorched. Oh, I didn't see this, so that must be something removed there. Oh no, there's chips present there, but it looks. Oh no, there you go. So that's been removed with a blowtorch. Uh, yeah, so that's complete scrap piece of crap that someone sold on eBay as untested. 
Right, let's just have a quick look in the back of this machine and see how it all goes together. So we've got this the light board here at the back which illuminates the back glass and the instruction cards. We have a 14 inch black and white monitor. It's a proper black and white with the colour overlays as you can see. This is the, uh, the payout mechanism. So at the top we've got the coin mechanism, the coin sorter, the payout tubes which store the money, and then the payout slides which push the money out at the bottom. Then we've got the standard MPU4 power supply down there. The standard MPU4 board here, which instead of a game cartridge, it has this sort of serial adapter. The serial adapter then connects to this video board. It's a Barcrest video board used on MPU4s. Uh, and that's basically got a cartridge there at the back. That part there is the cartridge, and that's the actual video board. It's all in case you can't see it easily here. Uh, and it's got all the usual MPU4 interconnects, coin meters, everything, the cash box is down there. Uh, so what we're going to do, I've just picked up another MPU4 board which we're going to fit and see if that works any better than the one that's currently in. I'm thinking this has got problems with the coin inputs because I can't get it to actually coin up. Um, well, I might have to fix it, but you know, I'll at least try swapping the board out see if it's any better with the other one. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. Using my remote power up as it's probably going to try and hadouken me. And let's, see, let's see what happens. Oh, booted. And graphics. Well, that's not a bad start. Uh, let's try putting some coins in this bitch. Why don't you like coins? Ugh. Try something else. I don't know. 20 peas or something. God dang it. What's this say? Huh. It says something different then. Did you press any button to freeze display? Display frozen. Ah! So on the other board, it was saying display frozen all the time. That's probably meaning it's actually got its switch input stuck on the other one. It's not doing anything. Uh, I think if I open the front door I can get into test mode, so let's have a go at doing that. I finally found the friggin' key, so uh, let's just open up the door. Oh. Resetting. There we go. Ah, oh. it's kind of flashing like it's got credits in now, and it's uh, also flashing here. So uh, let's go and see what happens. Hey! It's working. Obviously you can't win money when you're in test mode. Let's do that again. That was a bit stupid. Okay. Uh, it's hard to reach with one hand. Yeah, looks like it's working. Just doesn't take coins. Uh, that's just uh, let it kill me. Yeah, so that's the uh, the 50p prize game. I think you get a different game from a right if you do the 30p amusement only. Oh, gave me a menu then but I held the button down too long. Let me just does it give you lives on this one? Yeah yeah so you get a life right just doing a single life like it does on the cash one. This one gives you actual lives. Let's just kill it off again. Do 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 Okay, right, try again. Ah, yeah, so you get difficulty settings, so you can start on level 4. Where you get a big block of invaders. Right, okay, so this is good. Controls are working, buttons are all working. Coin rack, not working. Let's see if we can get that sorted. Okay, well it seems like the coin mech that was in the machine decided to break as I've just hung this Mars cash flow off the harness and chopped a couple of coins through and it's actually coined the game up. So, uh, this won't actually fit unfortunately. So maybe I can modify it, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, the original, the, uh, yeah, the ME126 that was in it, now that definitely did work in the past, that's not accepting any coins. So, hmm. Now it's going round and uh, checking for bad bulbs and just replacing those. There's only a few, but I'll get them all 100% working. Right now we're looking at the linear regulator and video combiner for the Prize Space Invaders. 
uh, it basically takes uh, AC input converts into 12 volt DC to power the monitor as well as taking the video the separate RGB sync video from the board and combining it into composite using these components here for as the uh, the monitor in the machine is a black and white composite video monitor like an old style monitor um, some of those solder joints look a bit suspect, so basically just going to clean it up, uh, desolder it all, and then reflow it with some new fresh solder just to make sure this is nice and reliable. Okay, that's all nicely reflowed now, and I just also repaired this uh, weak track here to put a little bit of wire link there, and that should be nice and solid and reliable now. Okay, so after reflowing the monitor power supply, I've had the machine on for about 20 minutes now, and it's had a rock solid picture all the way through. I think that might have resolved the monitor issue. So I think the last we've had the, also we touched up the cabinet a bit, so it's looking pretty good. Uh, last thing to do is basically take this back uh, illumination panel out and realign these these cars that have dropped down a bit. And then the machine should be pretty much ready to go. Okay, to show that the coin mechanism is working properly as well as the payout tubes, I've got one of each coin, pound, 50, 20 and a 10. So, credit's currently zero, let's chuck them in. 10p, here we go, 10p, this is a pound coin. Oop, didn't like that one. <laughs> uh, 20p, so 30p, a 50p. That's on 80p. Let's uh, get that pound coin again. There we go, fine that time. So that's £1.80 in. Now if we press collect, we should get £1.80 out. And let's have a look. It's hard picking it up with one hand. Okay, right. We have one pound coin and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight ten p's. So that is taking money and paying out absolutely fine.